Hi guys, welcome to my 32 week bump date. This week, baby is the size of an armadillo, and or he's also the size of a um, plastic scooter board. And I'll show you a picture of what this looks like if you don't know what I'm talking about. So this is what it shows. A lot of kids in um, elementary school would play on these. I know I did as a kid and we would sit on them and then roll up and down the gym floor and a lot of kids would end up like getting their hands accidentally run over by those wheels. Um, but those are super fun to play with and so Baby is the size of that. This week Baby is starting to um, sprout hair on the top of his head. All of his fingernails and toenails are full grown now. He's starting to move closer and closer into my pelvis to get into that birthing position and get ready um, for birth. He is continuing to practice breathing. He's swimming and moving around a lot, which I can definitely feel. Uh, he can um, focus on objects now, kind of. Um, but I don't really know what objects he's really focusing on, if he's just in my uterus right now. He is also about four pounds this week, which is huge. Like, that just seems like a huge number to me. So he's getting really, really big, which I'm feeling really big as well. I weighed myself yesterday, and I am now weighing at 25 pounds. So last time I weighed myself, which was a few weeks ago, I was at 22 pounds, and now I'm at 25 pounds. So... I'm definitely gaining weight, which I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to gain about a pound a week now. So we're in that final stretch and I'm definitely feeling it. This week, I've just been feeling a ton of pain. Um, I think you forget just how hard the third trimester is. And especially comparing this pregnancy to my previous pregnancy. With my first pregnancy, like I didn't have any pain at all up until like the very, very end when I it was really hard for me to sit up straight, like I always had to lean back. But up until like right before I delivered, like I was in, in any pain, I could have been pregnant like forever. This time, it's like as soon as I hit that third trimester, like my back started killing me and it just keeps getting worse every week. I have been having a ton of back pain and a ton of pain um, on my left lower rib area. This has been going on for weeks now, but again, it just seems to be getting worse the further along I get. Must be probably the bigger baby gets. If I'm doing any like amount of work other than sitting down and resting, after a couple minutes it will just start killing me. I've been having to wear my belly band a lot more. and. It works here and there, but not as much as I thought it would, and if anything, it works more on my back, and it doesn't really do anything for my rib pain. So I've been dealing with that a lot. Um, it's hard to just sit, like if I go out to dinner or something, it's hard to just sit there and not be in, be in pain. Um, Anthony and I have this crazy um, plan to move while I'm almost about to deliver and so we're cr working really really hard getting our house ready to sell packing things up and just getting the house um, look less cluttered and so it's been a lot of work the past couple days and we're on a tight timeline to get it all done and so I've been working really really hard harder than my whole pregnancy and I uh, you know a couple minutes into it it's just been really really tough on my body Still, anytime I drive anywhere, about two or three minutes into it, my back and my ribs will already start hurting. So it's just been really hard. I'm also dealing with feeling out of breath a lot. Um, Anthony always gets mad at me because he says it sounds like I'm like frustrated or annoyed with something because I'm always going, <sighs> And I'm not mad or frustrated or anything, I just cannot breathe. Like, I need to take deep breaths constantly because I just, regular breaths to me, which are silent, like they just don't get enough oxygen into me. So, um, yeah, I've been feeling really out of breath lately, going up and down my, the stairs in my house a million times to do all of this packing has gotten me way out of breath. Um, my heart beats really fast anytime I'm doing any type of activity and then I get really hot really easily. This morning I took Grayson out to the park and it was only like 
74 degrees outside but I was sweating and it to me and to my body it felt like it was like 90 already like it was just so hot I just I cannot stay cool and I'm super thirsty all the time I'm drinking water like crazy and of course I'm peeing like crazy last night I always go pee right before I go to bed to try to have it last me as long as I can through the night so I peed right before bed, I went to bed around midnight, woke up at 3 a.m., and I seriously thought I was gonna pee my pants. Like, from um, my bed to the bathroom is just a couple steps, but I was like running as fast as I could to the bathroom because I had to pee so bad. Oh, it's getting really bad. We went out to dinner the other night for my sister's birthday, and I had to go to the bathroom like three different times during the dinner because I just, I drink so much because I'm so thirsty, and then I pee, like I cannot, I cannot hold the pee, <laughs> I have to pee all the time, and every time I pee, it's like only a little bit comes out, like, but it seriously feels like I have to, like I haven't peed in like hours. A lot of this stuff is just, as I go further along, like it's just getting a lot more extreme, which they do say with your second and other pregnancies, like, you just, you're gonna experience uncomfortable symptoms faster than you would at your first pregnancy, and that's definitely happening here. I'm exhausted all the time. I mean, we're working really hard getting our house ready to sell, so that's contributing to it. I get very tired, I have to sit a lot. Um, and then just, like, tired at night. Like, I cannot stay awake um, very late at night anymore because I just get so exhausted from the day, so um, I'm sleeping a lot. I've been doing okay here and there. It seems like I'll have a bad night where I will only sleep for a few hours and the rest of the night I'll be up freaking out about all the things that I need to be doing with my house and then every other day around that I'll be fine and I'll sleep other than getting up to have to pee and coming back to bed. So it just comes and goes. Some days I'm more tired than others. Um, it does seem like I'm always exhausted in the mornings, no matter how early I go to bed at night. Grayson always gets up around 7, 7.30 in the morning, which isn't that early. But for me, like, it's so hard for me to get out of the bed and, um, you know, be with him and entertain him. And it's always so easy to just pop on a show and just, like, try to rest my eyes on the couch for an hour. <laughs> So it's been really hard on me. Baby is moving a ton. He's still pretty chill during the day, probably because I'm rocking him to sleep by running around my house trying to clean it and get it ready. But at night when I'm just sitting there and resting, he has a party and he is moving around. He's still doing like the sweeping motions with like his elbow or his knee or foot or whatever. He's punching. Um, I don't feel hiccups as much this week, but I'm sure he's having them. I'm probably just like not feeling them. Um, but yeah, he's definitely moving around in there. My swelling hasn't been bad at all. I'm still wearing my wedding rings, so that's great. My ankles, I don't think look too swollen. Sometimes at the end of the day, if I've been working really hard, sometimes they might seem a little bit swollen. But um, for the most part, they're, my body's pretty normal. Um, I do feel like I look huge. We had just taken pictures at um, my sister's birthday dinner, and I looked at the pictures when my mom sent them to all of us to have, and I just look enormous like, compared to everyone else. And you know, my thighs are looking big, my belly of course is looking big, and so I think it's like, I don't realize how big I am until I see myself in a picture. <laughs> and I don't take a lot of pictures of myself, I mean I take a lot of pictures of my belly, but I don't get like the full shot of me and so I don't really see like how big I'm really getting and I mean I am huge I'll give you guys a belly shot so here's the belly I am getting enormous I mean my belly is just super super stuck out it's crazy so I think that's gonna be it for this video uh, make sure to tune in next week I will have my next doctor's appointment so I'll have updated info for you guys you're not gonna want to miss it uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys